Hello everyone. Are you preparing for competitive examination? Are you preparing for CAT, your math? Yeah, you are going for Ignite, yeah, and QTCs. Whatever it may, whatever it may be. Don't be bothered about cracking those kind of examination. Particularly if I'm talking about the English section, there is a, a, there is a segment that is known as verbal ability. In this particular section, you will find a lot of questions which are based on spotting error. For the last few days, I have been getting continuous call from the students. Ki, sir, kuch tricks ke mein baat kare. Jis tricks ke zariye hum log aasani se error ko spots kar sake. Because maximum examination may error spotting ke upar question data hai. So, do, so students, don't be tense about it. And this time, I'm going to present some amazing tricks in front of you so that you'll be absolutely sure that in which portion the error lies. And that too, within a fraction of a second. So, Nilanjan Bose, the professor of Simic College, here is going to present some amazing tricks which will enable you to solve the questions or rather to identify the error portion in a question within a fraction of a second. And I'm quite sure this session is going to be really interesting. So, watch it out. Let us talk about the first question. I will deal with five questions along with five rules which will be really beneficial for you. Talking about the first question, let us know what is that. As you see, the first question, it is written, during freedom struggle, many a patriots were filled with patriotism. In this particular question, there are multiple errors. I am not saying to only one error. Ek error nahi, usse jada bhi error ho sakta hai. So before dealing with this particular question, let us talk about the rule. If you rule, you will get one second lagega iska answer karne mein. In a sentence, if you find many a, I repeat, in a sentence, if you find many a, it should be always followed by singular subject and singular verb. Just keep in mind. Now, we always remember that if there is a sentence in any sentence, then you should have a subject and a singular verb. And if I keep in mind this particular rule, going through the question, I will find that in section B, it is written many a patriots, which is wrong. It should be many a patriot. And after that, in sections in option C, section C rather, you will find that it is written word, which will be absolutely wrong because we need to take singular verb instead of word, it should be words. So two errors are there in section B and section C. It will be many a patriot was. So in that way, the correct answer will be during freedom struggle, many a patriot was filled with patriotism. Correct. So now you just think that if this rule is known to you, how much time will you take to solve the question? Hardly it will take a fraction of a second. This is the way how you should proceed. So let us move to question number two and you will come to know that what is the amazing tricks in question number two. Let us know. Here comes the question number two. The number of amendments to our constitution have been very large during the last 50 years of independence. So in this question, let us talk about the rule first because after knowing the rule, after uh, you uh, actually, if you know the rule, it will be easier for you to solve the question. So let us talk about the rule first. If a sentence starts with the number of, it will be always followed by singular verb. If this is the case, going through the question, now you will find that the number of amendments that is perfectly all right to a constitution have been very large. Now here, instead of have, it should be has. Why? Because the sentence has been started by the number and the number will be always followed by singular verb. So in place of have, it should be has. So the correct answer will be the number of amendments to a constitution has been very large during the last 50 years of independence. So have will be replaced by has. Isn't it interesting? Yes, of course. If you know the rule, then definitely it will be really beneficial for you to go through the questions as quickly as possible. Let us know what is question number three and I will discuss the tricks number three as well. In this question, no sooner did the nurse enter the house than the patient died. Look, I have, just believe me, I have found this question number of times in a competitive examination. So it's a very, very important rule on which the question is based. Let us talk about the rule first. No sooner will always be followed by than, not by then. Look, students, if in a uh, if in the examination, if you find the question, if it is started by no sooner, 
then it will be definitely followed by then. In, in the question, if you find it is followed by then, that is wrong. As you see in this particular question, in section four, it is written then, and that is absolutely wrong because the sentence has already been started by no sooner. So no sooner will be always followed by then. अगर आप नो सुनर को पहचान जाओ सेंटेंस को ध्यान दो तो ऑफ कोर्स आपका दिमाग कहां आपका ध्यान कहां जाएगा देन के तरफ इफ देन इज रिटर्न दैट दैट इज रॉन्ग इफ इट शुड इट इट हैज इट वाज रिटर्न बाय देन देन इट इज एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट सो द करेक्ट आंसर विल बी नो सुनर डिड द नर्स एंटर द हाउस देन द पेशेंट डाइड राइट लेट अस मूव टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 4 जान लेते हैं चलिए क्वेश्चन नंबर 4 में क्या रूल है और क्वेश्चन क्या है कैसे इसको सॉल्व करें Yes, this rule is very very important. You just uh, take into this take this rule uh, with lot of care. We cannot handle this complicated case unless full details are not given to us. अब अगर इस क्वेश्चन को गो थ्रू करोगे आप देखो कि unless full details are not given to us. Talking about the rule, if you find in a sentence just like the words words like uh, unless or until. इट इज ऑलरेडी नेगेटिव वर्ड अनलिस मतलब यदि ना और अंटिल मतलब जब तक ना तो इस केस में ऑलरेडी नो या नॉट इम्प्लाइड बिकॉज इट इज अगेटिव वर्ड सो अनेसेसरिली हम लोग दोबारा इसमें नो या नॉट यूज नहीं करें दैट इज रूल फाइन सो इन दिस केस यू फाइन दैट अनलिस फुल डिटेल्स आर नॉट गिवेन टू अस इन सेक्शन थ्री इट इज रिटर्न अनलिस but while going to section फोर you find that not is written which is absolutely wrong so you need to remove not so the correct answer will be we cannot handle this complicated case unless full details are given to us so the rule is very simple if you find unless ya until you just check whether no ya not is written if it is written it will be wrong if it is not written it's perfectly all right hai na bahut interesting yes as a kai interesting tricks aapke samne main present karte rahunga or i will be i am i am quite sure that you people will be pretty confident to face this kind of questions let us know what is the last question of today and i will let you know that what is the tricks behind it here comes the last question although the pain was beyond his capacity but he didn't complain so the before uh, moving through the question uh, i would i will uh, discuss the rule actually if a if a sentence starts with although ya do it will be always followed by yet not but in most of the competitive examination i have found the question in such a way that the sentence consists of the words like although ya do but it is followed by but it cannot be followed by but it should be always followed by yet as in this case in this particular question also you see that although the pain was beyond his capacity but he did not complain here but is wrong it should be replaced by yet as the rule is saying so the correct answer will be although the pain was beyond his capacity yet he did not complain so friends i have uh, uh, tried my level best to let you know the different kind of tricks and now you are in a better position to deal with these kind of questions because within a fraction of second you will be able to identify or the spot or spot the error in a particular sentence i'm pretty sure that you are absolutely confident now now onwards you are not going to do any kind of mistake and you won't take much time as well so that's all Uh, what i have tried to show you today in the coming videos of course i will present number of rules what you need i will carry to the need i will solve the purpose and in the coming videos definitely i'll be presenting more rules uh, to uh, get, to get you confident enough to get through the questions that's all from my side today thank you so much have a nice time and keep on practicing that is the key to success thank you so much